Yeah, buddy. Woo! Oh. Okay. But it's pretty cool. That was awesome. What's up, guys? I'm back with my second vlog. I didn't think I'll do it, but you guys liked it, so I thought I'd do it. And plus, today I just want to talk about something, and I'll do some cool stuff, I guess. Yeah, I just want to talk about life and how I got where I am now, and how excited and happy I am with life. Because I'm just like that. All right, let's talk about it. two years ago. I um I was through going through a depression where um, I didn't want to live anymore. I uh, put it on my Instagram um, today. Today is the day. Um, I put it on my Instagram about it. It was it was hard. It was I went through the pain. It, it was tough. Where I was actually on my knees and ready to put a gun at my head, just say it's over. I remember texting my mom and telling her. I love you. Goodbye. I remember her and then she was trying to call me and she was texting me and I was just ignoring her and ignoring her. Um, I was done. I was in my head. I was done and just wanted it to be over. I want my life to be ended. I just wanted it to completely just be done. I, I'm, I was done living. And this was that when I was, I was 19 years old. Um, two years ago. And I just, I remember that day. Like, it was yesterday. Because I do believe God prepares every, so everything in your past I do believe God prepares something for your future it's it, God wastes nothing he really doesn't and I believe that and I can't believe where I'm at to this day two years ago and I'm so happy like with everything going on never thought I'd be in front of the camera like this never thought I would be filming I just got done filming um, back in I think it was 4th of July I filmed a Dustin Lynch concert and Dylan Scott I remember um, I mean, I'm filming these awesome cinematic workout videos I, like, put work into. And I love it, like, and the people that I got to be surrounded with and the people I got to meet, I mean, it's just so awesome. And now, I never thought I would ever love someone again, ever, I really didn't. Now here I am, loving someone again. And I mean, here's a picture of her and me. I mean, she's just so beautiful, like, she is. Look at her, oh, she's so cute. <laughs> Anyways, I never thought I would. Um, let's change the spot real quick, hold on. Like I said, I, I just, I never thought I would love someone again. I'm very thankful that I am alive to this day, meeting every single one of you. If I haven't yet, I sure hope I can. I mean, in the Hall of Heroes, where Hit Hall really began to be a passion of mine. Hall of Heroes Iron Gym, I can never thank them enough. I just cannot thank them enough. They have done so much for me, and they do so much for the community. Um, everyone asks, like, what's so really, like, what's so awesome about Hall of Heroes? Well, one, come out and check it out for yourself. Two, it's more than a gym, it's a community. It, it, it's hands down a community, and I'm so glad to be part of it. I am very thankful. Yeah, I could never thank them enough. They are huge supporters for me, and I love what I do. And I do work at a job that I don't like right now, but that just right now is a season of life where I'm just trying to get through and be able to pay my bills, um, pay for to have a roof over my head. So yeah, you just, you gotta do stuff that you don't like to do to uh, get where you wanna be in life. I, I do believe that. I believe that you have to work a st stupid job, hateful job, you just don't like it to do what you love to do. And I believe that it just doesn't fall on your lap. You have to actually work and hustle towards it. And I remember I was building an in-ground swimming pools just last year. And I went from there to, uh, 
from I went to build in ground swimming pools from working at a golf course for five, four to five years. And I thought that's what I was gonna do my whole life, just work at a golf course, learn to mow, like, like mow real good and all that stuff. Nah, I, I didn't wanna do that anymore. So I went to build in ground swimming pools to change it up, to try something different. And I did, and for the whole year I was, it, the beginning was awesome. But in it, I really got tired of it. I got tired of digging holes and being in the rain, being in the storms, being in the mud, more than anything, the mud. I just, I was done. I couldn't do it anymore. And I told myself that I was done. Left on good terms, but even some of my coworkers there that I work with every day are my best buddies to this day. I, um, I was also doing ASL music videos late 2016 and the whole year 2017. That was my main focus was the, um, was the ASL music videos and my first song I ever did Oh Lord um, by NF that got up to 6,000 views which is one of my favorite videos I've done um, and my very first one and then I did a couple and then I connected with Reflection Music Group which is Derek Miner and Cannon's label and stuff and I did uh, one of Cannon's songs which is really fast rap and I never thought I did it but I did I, I mentally thought I couldn't do it but I challenged myself to do it and I did it and I feel good to this day to be like I did that you know all that fun stuff so and then 2018 began and late 2017 but more in early 2018 I was getting into photography and videography cinematic videos workout videos I was connected with people that taught me all this stuff and I really enjoyed it. So ASL music videos were slowly fading away. It's not that I stopped ASL music videos, it's just that I'm not focusing on that right now. I'm focusing on more of the videography, more on the, um, you know, this stuff. <laughs> and I got real into fitness. Fitness was my top notch thing in life right now. I wanna look good, I wanna feel good about life, and I just wanna live a healthy lifestyle. And I believe fitness is part of that. And it mentally challenges you to become a better person and um, just because you're challenging yourself every day and it's 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 hard but once you do it and you're really focusing and it's on the grind you're on the grind you're just like doing the best you can it's worth it it really is and speaking of fitness this is actually where I started this equipment was at my cousin's barn back in 2015 before he went to the Air Force we started working on that and he moved and I took this stuff in my old basement in my old house and I started working out with it and then now it's in our garage in our new place and speaking of this fitness I don't want to touch anything but how about a b-roll of all this stuff be pretty dope be like quick seconds I mean I don't know. Check it out. Let's do it. All right, let's just do it. Let's do it. So yeah, that's where it all started in the fitness, is those little weights, rusty, um, old, he saw the, uh, what do we had to do, um, we had to use the strap to keep the seat down, I mean, stuff like that, that's how it started, just, just remember, I mean, I had suicidal thoughts, I was going through pain, I was going through so much, and I just can't imagine if I died, where would life be? be like right now you know and I'm glad I stayed alive to experience these past two years to see and I mean, there's more to come and a lot more and I'm super excited for it and it's uh, really probably really dark in here maybe that'll brighten up a little bit so I do believe that God doesn't waste nothing everything in your past is a preparation for your future and I believe that 100% I want to apologize that this video is a little more serious than the first one but this is something I just want to get off my chest and I have a camera and why not try to use it and share it so I'm glad I was able to share it I'm glad I was able to just tell you guys like what I went through what I've been through um, 
and I don't think I cleared it up, but like in the whole 2016, why I was su thinking suicidal, all this stuff is because it was in love for the first time. In love for the first time. And she said goodbye to me, and when she left, she got married two and a half weeks, no, sorry, two and a half months after saying goodbye to me. And now she has two twins that I found out over the social media. And I wasn't, uh, it was tough to see her. It was tough to like look at her, tough to like know her, think of her, think about her, all this stuff. But to this day, I hope she is living her best life. I wish her the best, nothing but the best. And that's crazy to say, but that's the truth. I do wish nothing but the best for her. Also, that is the same year my parents got divorced. The same year that we lost our house that we built for our family. And a lot more going on. And with my work at the golf course was going really. Money wasn't coming in. It was just, ugh, I wasn't paying. But God heals. He really does. And I believe that. But like I said again, more serious than my first one. Uh, maybe the second one will be fun because actually my birthday is in a week from now and I might do a birthday video. I don't know. See what my girl says and see what she wants to do. Something fun. She actually, um, I think she said she's doing something, taking me out somewhere. And I have no clue what it is. So maybe I'll film that. I don't know. So super excited. I'm going to be the big two two um, next week, 22. Super excited for it. Very, very excited. So, thank you again, guys. Thank you again for watching. I appreciate it. Um, I am thankful for you, and I appreciate the love. Appreciate the support, and I wish nothing but the best for you and to anyone that's out there watching this right now. Chase your dream like I have. Uh, not scared to um, fail, because if you don't, if you're scared to fail, then that's your issue. That's your problem. Not chasing your dream, then you're never gonna get far. Don't be scared to fail, because I fail, I still fail a bunch of times. A lot of successful people always fail, but they just pick their feet up and get back up and a lot stronger than they were last time. So I believe that. Just keep chasing your dream. Chase that passion of yours and do whatever it takes until you live that dream of yours. Because I do believe it's true and I believe it can happen. The only um, way to start is you. And once you start, then you're already halfway there. I believe it 100%. Thank you for watching. Um, I'll see you next time. Yeah, I'll see you next time. Peace.